you said you and Suge were always cool. Yeah, he was cool. When you see what happened to Suge in that whole situation, uh, how do you feel? You know, accepting a twenty-eight year plea deal. I mean, just for just for that for anybody is an unfortunate situation. Like I would feel like that about anybody that's in that position, especially that was that was um. Uh, you know, once in the position that 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 he was in, you know. So yeah, I mean, he was he co-owned a, a three hundred million dollar company. Mm -hmm. Not too many people get to touch that type of money, right? Um, did you know Terry? Yeah. Okay, friend of yours. Uh, I know him. You know. Yeah. It's a fucked up situation, man. Like I, I honestly thought the sugar was gonna get off. You know, when you look at that situation, you could say it was self-defense, but um, yeah, 28 year plea deal. That was tough. It's crazy. Um, do you and Dr. Dre still have a relationship? I mean, I I, I don't talk to Dre like on, okay. a, on a regular, nothing like that. If I see him somewhere, then you know what's up, you know? Well, I, I just think it's, it's amazing, man, that, that someone like a Dre coming, you know, from the gangster rap genre, mm -hmm. turn, turns around and becomes rap's first billionaire. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? With the, with the Beats deal and, and still continues to make music, man. Mm -hmm. it, it's a, you know, you guys were all just sort of around, I think, for the golden era mm -hmm. of, of West Coast hip hop and uh, just had a, just a massive uh, contribution. Yeah, You know, n nothing but the cavi it's still one of my favorite West Coast songs. Oh yeah, that was a good one. That, that, was, was, a that was a great one. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great one. And you just have a lot of classics under your belt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You have a nice, a nice big, big fucking catalog. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. And it sounds like you actually kept your publishing and, yeah. and everything else like that. All that. So you continue, you know, whenever that gets picked up in a movie. Yeah, I still get TV. checks in the mail. Yeah, yeah. But w which song do you think you made the most money off of? Hmm, that's tough, man. Like I don't know. Like the most money, maybe I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you, 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 you know those ones that get put in soundtracks and stuff. Yeah. Like you always get paid for that. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, um, I don't know, man. I've, I've. I, I made some money on on quite a few records. Yeah, I interviewed Sir Mix a lot a couple yeah. years ago. Mm -hmm. He told me he made a hundred million off Baby Got Back. So Baby Got Back has made over a hundred million. You feel? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's definitely made over a hundred million dollars. I can tell you that. I mean, I just look at my lifestyle and where it's been since 1992, and it hasn't fallen off. That's a lot of cake on one record. Yeah, because he produced it and, yeah. and wrote it. Yeah, and you know did it through a mm -hmm. you know a label that allowed him to, to you know keep most of mm -hmm. it. And yeah, he said he's still living the rapper lifestyle. You know, whatever. Twenty five years later. Yeah, and, and that's that's the important part of you know keeping your publishing. Oh yeah, oh you yeah. Know what I'm saying you keep a check coming. Yeah, yeah. It's that mailbox money. Exactly. Yeah, you know, along. I mean, and and that's the thing. Like when you own assets, music is one asset, real estate is another asset, yeah. stocks is another asset, yeah. and so forth. It's very important to create is to have assets that will continue to make money. Right. Because if if you don't make your money work for you, you'll end up working forever. Right. So you're working on the red print. You've got your touring company, mm -hmm. your, your live live performance company. What else are you doing these days? Just hanging out, coaching youth sports, mm. little league baseball, Pop Warner football. Pop Warner football, we just won the championship this year. Oh. My, my, my my little guys, the, the the tiny mites, Rowdy Rams. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever play against Snoop's team? Um, my older son did. Okay. You know, years ago. Yeah. You know, but but not my not my little my little baby. We ain't we haven't played Snoop's team, but we went nine and zero. Nine and zero. Yeah, yeah. I saw you allowed to play at at the tiny mite level. Like nine games is the most that they allow you yeah, to play. Yeah, yeah. So man, you're just you're just enjoying semi retirement, basically. Yeah, I'm having fun, man. 
I'm blessed, bro. God has been great to me. Yeah, man. Well, and also you've worked really fucking hard. Yeah. Along the way. Still working hard. Still working hard. Yeah. Still hustling, still in the studio. Oh, yeah. Still doing your thing, man. Yeah. Well, listen, Mac 10, appreciate, appreciate the conversation, man. Uh, I mean, I'm looking, 11 million albums sold mm -hmm. independently. Yeah. Uh, you know, multi-platinum projects, yeah. both by yourself and, and with West Side Connection. Cult classic movies. Um, <laughs> just, just the whole, the whole, uh, you know, you went and just got the bag all around. Yeah. You know, you took, it seems like you came in, you know, and you know, the shelf life of a rapper is not very, very long. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you came in and, and reinvented yourself and, and went and figured out all the different aspects of the music game and, and yeah. taught yourself all that shit and managed to, to actually monetize. Mm all the different things you're going, man. And I think that, that people sometimes forget the businessman aspect of mm. what Mac-10 is. Yeah. Because they focus so much on the rapper. Yeah. But but that, to me, is is the impressive part. I appreciate that. You know what That's I mean? That's the important part. That is the important part. Yeah. Because ultimately, we're all doing this for money. Definitely. Yeah. That's what I'm doing it for. That's what I'm doing it for, too. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's I'm a business. I'm playing for the bag, homie. Yeah. Yeah. And you've been getting it yeah. for... 25 years now? Yeah. Can get it for another 25 more. Yeah, easy. Easy. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Till next time, Mac 10. 100. Peace.